My dad is a small tapeworm, only about five millimetres in size, that inhabits the intestines of domestic dogs if they haven't been treated with a praziquantel, but most commonly wild dogs and foxes. When wild dogs and fo foxes or any infected dog defecates on a pasture, they deposit the eggs. Unfortunately, the eggs are quite resistant and sticky and long-lasting in the environment, and cattle or any herbivore can inadvertently ingest those. They hatch and uh, the, the larvae distribute through the body and cause really large, can be very large, fluid-filled cysts on the organs of cattle. About 60% of the uh, hydatid cysts in cattle are found in livers, but they can grow in any organ from lungs to spleen to heart to brain. As district veterinarians, when we're investigating ill thrift or sudden death in, in herds, uh, we frequently find hydatid infection in cattle. Um, and this, is, this mirrors uh, what the abattoir records show, that about 10 to 30 per cent of stock that move through the abattoir have a level of hydatid cyst infection. Unfortunately, people can also become infected with hydatid cysts, so it's really important that children and adults practice really good hygiene when handling their domestic dogs or traps if you're involved with trapping um, wild dogs. Someone might be infected when they're younger, but the hydatid cysts don't become a problem until they're much older, maybe in their 30s or 40s, at which point the cysts can be really large, 10 to 20 centimetre um, fluid-filled cysts on organs in people. So it's a, it's, it is important that domestic dogs are wormed with praziquantel and good hygiene. Unfortunately, there's no treatment for hydatid infection in stock. Uh, the, the only method is actually prevention, so speak to local land services and our biosecurity rangers will help you with wild dog control. So the best way to minimise exposure to hydatids for livestock is there are a number of ways to do it. If you have working dogs, don't feed them offal, uh, untreated raw offal. And when it comes to worming your dogs, make sure you use a wormer that does deal with hydatids uh, pra containing praziquantel. With the wild dogs, the best thing that you can do is engage in a wild dog control program. So we need to reduce the numbers of wild dogs in uh, areas and, and suppress populations to keep those numbers down. See your local land services officers. Uh, we can help you look at how best to control within your area. Uh, we do widespread strategic programs that cover lo lots of areas and bigger areas for landholders. Uh, and the best way to, to deal with the wild dogs and the foxes is to be engaged and participate with those programs. Uh, the other options you've got are to shoot and trap. Uh, local land services can help you when it comes to uh, talking about trapping processes uh, and a lot of the landholders will do the, the shooting processes themselves. In Queensland, 76% of the wild dog population is infected with hydatids. Uh, here in New South Wales, the studies have shown that it's, it's well over uh, half of the population as well. So the dogs that your cattle come into contact with uh, are likely to have hydatids. With the increasing numbers of feral deer in the landscape now becoming quite an issue, uh, that also impacts uh, the hydatids and the spread of hydatids throughout the landscape for landholders as well. So uh, we're finding these things are starting to, to spread and, and it's really important that people start engaging in pest animal control. NH Foods have partnered with Meat and Livestock Australia to produce a series of short, informative videos focusing on animal health. These videos aim to assist producers with identifying and treating common health issues. The goal of these videos is to try and show a link between improved animal health and increased on-farm profitability. To access your animal's health data, visit the Livestock Data Link website.